Hello, welcome to this week's music video. We're somewhere different today. Yes, we're in Dulwich Woods and we're going to be creating some music inspired by the sounds of Dulwich Woods. So for today's session, you need your instrument, you need your imagination and you need your sense of fun. Okay, ready? Let's get cracking. Some composers create music where they ask the musician to use their instrument in a different way. And it might be that this involves making sound effects or imitating something. And this is the type of music that we're going to be exploring today. I'm going to play a piece to you now and I'd like you to, to listen to it. It's called Music for a Bird by the composer Hans Martin Lind. And it was written in 1971. And in this piece you can hear lots of different birds produced just on one instrument, my treble recorder. When I'm playing this piece, there's a moment when I can hear a pigeon cooing and there's another moment when the music becomes a little bit more agitated and I can hear a robin singing quite loudly defending its territory. I'd like you to listen now and have a think about what birds you can hear. I hope you enjoyed listening to that. Just before we started recording, a robin appeared really close to us and just stayed there and listened for a little while. And I just wanted to tell you about that because it, it felt really special and very magical. And it was just wonderful playing a piece about birds surrounded by birdsong. Right, now we're gonna create our very own soundscape inspired by the sounds of the woods. So I'm going to start with recorder players. Um, recorder players, if you could get your, your instruments. I've got my treble recorder with me today in the woods, but using your desk amp today is absolutely fine. We're going to create three motifs, and I'm going to talk through these with you now. Okay? So, first motif is going to be the sound of a pigeon cooing, and you could hear that in in the piece I just played to you. And we're gonna use an effect called tremolo, which kind of comes from, it comes from the word trembling. And tremolo, we're gonna move very quickly between two notes. Sometimes with tremolo, you're just on one note, but in this case, we're gonna be on two notes. And we're gonna use this fingering, so your B fingering, if you're on a desk hand, down to a G, and we're flapping these two fingers very quickly. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so just check you're keeping your fingers really close to the recorder there. If you want to, you can add a different tremolo, and that's on 
an F natural finger in if you're a descant player and you're going to tremolo with that middle finger there it's going to sound like this should we just practice our tremolos together Our second motif is going to be inspired by very young birds. If you can imagine some chicks in a nest that have just hatched and they've been, hung, they've been fed by their parents. And our motif is going to consist of five notes. Okay, they're going to be short notes. The first three notes are going to be the same. Let's do that on a B fingering. Fourth note, we're going to go down to an A and then back to a B but we're going to slur the last two notes. So it's going to sound like this. I'll do it slowly, first of all. Okay, and then I'm going to speed it up. Do you want to join in? And then you can also try some different notes. So let's try that now. Let's, ex let's just experiment with our chirpy bird sound on different notes. Great. Our third motif is going to be what I'm going to call the surprised bird. And this is this effect is called a glissando, which means to slide. Okay, trombonists, if you think of a trombone, they can do glissando so so well. Okay, it's a little bit more tricky on a recorder. We're going to start with an E finger in and we literally roll our fingers. Okay? So it's going to sound like this. So I roll my right hand, then my left hand. And I'm finishing on a B finger, finger in. Should we try that together? Lovely, so that's your three motifs. Okay, we have our cooing pigeon, our chicks, and our surprise bird. Okay, trumpeters, it's your turn now. So have your trumpets at hand. We're gonna create three motifs together that are gonna go into our composition, okay? The first motif is what I'm going to call wind. And I can, it's, it's getting quite windy here now, now in the woods. And to, we, we're very good at making a wind effect on our, our instruments. We're going to put our lips just over the mouthpiece, okay, and blow air into the trumpet and rattle the valves. It's going to sound like this. And we can put a little crescendo and diminuendo in there as well. That means we're going to get louder and we're going to get quieter. Let's try that together. Lovely. Our second motif is going to be that of the cuckoo. Okay, so a cuckoo often it makes two sounds and it's a descending motif based on a third. And we're going to play that on an F sharp, finger two, down to a D. It's going to sound like this. Should we try that together? And it's, if you keep that really short and just prepare your tongue just before you play those notes so you can really articulate those notes. Ta. Ta. Okay, we can throw in another cuckoo sound. We could do G to E flat. E flat is on fingers two and three. Let's try that together. And if you want to, we can do a higher one on C to A flat. A flat is on fingers two and three as well. Great, should we just go through those together? So first one, F sharp, D. 
Great. Our third motif is going to be at the beginning of our composition and it's what I'm going to call sunrise. Okay, so based on a C major arpeggio, the notes in a C major arpeggio, so that's C, E, G and high C. If you're a beginner you can stay on C's and E's, that's absolutely fine. Um, but if you've been playing trumpet for a little while, definitely ex um, explore top C as well. And I'd like us to play something that's going to start on a low note and go and go up. So it's like, it's going to sound like something rising, in this case, the sun. This is my version of our sunrise, so have a listen. So you can copy my version of Sunrise, or even better, make up your own version. So you might want to stop the video here and just practice these. Okay, we're ready now to put our soundscape together. You might want just to pause the video here and just practice your free motifs, just to make sure they're really ready, okay? Then what I'd like you to do is to watch the soundscape that I've created. It has as a background the sounds of Dulwich Woods, and then you'll see me appearing on screen playing our motifs. And when I play my, the motifs, I'd like you to join in with me. So there's going to be two things happening, and I think that should sound really very interesting and quite fun. So, um, watch the next, the, the, watch the soundscape now. Make a mental note, or you might want to write it down at what order they appear in. Then play the video again and join in. This might take a few times just to get this, but I think it will be, you'll find it really rewarding and hopefully really fun. So enjoy, and I'll see you in a bit.
Well done everybody. I hope you enjoyed playing in our piece. I'd love to hear what your version sounded like. So if it's possible, it'd be amazing if you could record yourself playing in our composition and send it in to us at school. We'd all love to hear it. Okay, so until next time, keep on playing, keep on enjoying your music and enjoy the sunny weather. Take care.